Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on March 16th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, brought to you by Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Looking here at the sun, 304 angstroms. Small sunspot leaving southern region. And then we have a new one coming in in the northern region. Small coronal hole, equatorial. But not too much to talk about still on our sun. Except for the departing sunspot. And as well the incoming. Which looks to be pretty active here. As you can see the corona being affected quite a bit. In that little expulsion. Right. There. There. Friends and family, stay aware and prepared. That's what this channel is all about. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. And as we're going through this transition in life due to the virus that is broken out across the world, my thoughts and my prayers are with everybody. So please stay clean, aware and prepared. Let's look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. This has been pretty busy. A lot of shallow 4.0 and greater Puerto Rico still going off. Minor rumbles. 4.9 here in Central America. 4.9 in Ecuador. As well, 4.7 Venezuela, 33 kilometer depth. And then moving south into Chile, 4.0 there. North Atlantic, Wreck James Ridge, 4.9 and a 4.8. Moving into Europe, 3.0 here in Kosovo. 4.6 in Greece and a 4.4 in Iraq. 4.3 here, Afghanistan. And the largest earthquake last 24 hours was this 5.1 Solomon Islands at an 88 kilometer depth. Moving west here, 5.0 Indonesia. 3.8 there in Japan. It's kind of an interesting small quake to report. That could be a precursor. 4.7 here in Russia. A few small earthquakes in Alaska. And as well, West Coast, North American Plate. 2.5 California. And as well, 2.5 in Washington. Or 2.6. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. The deeper earthquakes are starting to calm down a bit compared to the week before, but there was a pretty deep earthquake here. Italy, shallow, or sorry, a smaller quake, but very deep. This is the way our planet looks after seven days of earthquakes. Stay aware and prepared. Let's get to the disaster center overlooking the world and the disaster alerts most recent, looking at the Yasser volcano, as well looking at the tropical cyclone Harold, who is just northeast of Madagascar right now and is going to be heading east southeast. So, a lot of coastal rain being reported in Madagascar. Also looking at a landslide in northern Colombia and a lot of storms being reported across South America. I mean, yes, it is. Um, it is a, an Amazon forest and, and you're going to get the daytime evaporation storms, but these are a little bit intense and they've been intensifying over the last couple of years. So stay aware and prepared Bolivia and further south down into Sao Paulo and as well Venezuela. Also watching the large low pressure system that brought the tornadoes to Israel and Pakistan. You can see the center of the low right there, 
reforming, getting ready to head into northern Pakistan. And is probably going to head straight across the Mongolia Mountains into the Pacific Ocean. Speaking of which, it's a very interesting situation that is blowing up across the Pacific right now. That huge low crashed with a, another low, and there's an upper-level high-pressure ridge that is tearing them apart, but then reforming new storms here, just northwest of Hawaii. So there could be quite a storm brewing in the next few days and then heading to the west coast again and they're already dealing with winter storm conditions heavier snow in California mountains Sierra Nevada let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteor Mike overlooking North America as there is quite a large nor'easter that's going to be forming and heading across the Great Lakes and into the Atlantic provinces of Canada. Straight line winds across Quebec, so rain south of the storm and snow north of the storm. Stay aware and prepared, friends and family across the nation. Things are changing drastically. Watch this high pressure ridge form later in the week, drying things out through Alberta, but keeping the colder temperatures around for a little bit. And then that really cold high pressure ridge is going to move really far south across the United States and ahead of that we're going to watch some extreme weather so stay aware prepared my American friends you do have some extreme weather head, headed your way and as well all my friends across Ontario it's going to be a very wet weekend looking here 5 day forecast across the west coast low pressure system finally either breaks up and makes it across the mountains and that's going to help fuel the nor'easter that we're talking about later in the week but watch for extreme weather and as well heavy snow mounts throughout colorado situation in south america as i said heavier mounts of rain coastal regions panama into Peru and as well Venezuela coastal regions as well mountainous regions Bolivia western Peru stay aware and prepared some nasty storms on your doorstep looking across to Australia dry seasonal conditions a little bit warmer on the west side but things will cool off later in the week as this rain system moves in across Southeast Asia not much to talk about convergence rain and then a low pressure system forming here but pretty strong one at that North Japan heading into the Sea of Osk into Kamchatka and then we've got tracking of the Tropical Cyclone Herald and two other pretty sizable organized low pressure systems spinning in the southern hemisphere. Watch for heavier rains, Central Africa, Congo region, overlooking Europe. Seasonal dry conditions finally moving in, and hopefully, everybody can get semi back to normal. When it comes to the flooding, considering Europe has become the epicenter of the coronavirus, thoughts and prayers to everybody there. As well, watch a large low pressure system forming off the coast of Spain. And one here, Mediterranean low. And watch for heavy snow amounts and heavy rains into Afghanistan and Turkey, Georgia. leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere stay aware prepared my friends we're on the verge of a pole flip did you know that our planet does that actually every planet in the solar system does that even the sun their polarities flip stay aware prepared my friends
Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you've made it this far in the video, God bless your soul. God bless humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.